Hello gentlemen, I'm making this video to demonstrate how to lubricate a 911 kinetic engine sculpture. We have this uh, hypodermic I'm pulling and uh, what I can out of this cap here. Um, this is uh, I'm using regular motor oil and basically I'm gonna get the air out of it using this longer needle hypodermic and then uh, I get rid of the air. So the crankshaft normally has all these bearings, but I'm only using the front and the back. So there's an oil point in here. You can actually see the, the crank in there. Generally, three or four drops of oil will do the job. Um, so there's a front bearing, there's a back bearing, which actually goes through this hole here. That leads to the rear bearing. Um, these intermediate bearings, oops, are actually not being used. There's nothing there. So no need for oil there. The intermediate shaft, which is down here, which runs, uh, normally runs oil pump, which is taken out, but in this case, it runs the camshaft, I'm sorry, the timing chain. Uh, sprockets. The front bearing to that is actually through this hole here. Um, and there's actually a channel here that goes down to the forward, uh, the rear bearing. I'm, I'm calling this the front of the engine, but I think it's actually the rear of the car. Um, and then, so yeah, we've covered the, the front intermediate shaft bearing. Theoretically, there's a, that shaft is hollow, and this will cover the front and the rear, but I've taken, the, there's a plug in here that I've taken off, and if you go in there, you can put a few more drops in there, and this, that'll cover the front bearing. So we got the crankshaft, intermediate shaft covered. Um, on the uh, connecting rods, it's a little tricky, but I normally put a couple drops on each side here. It's a little messy, but you can wipe it off later. Six of these. On the, um, so for the, uh, next would be the wrist pin. There's a couple ways of getting that put this light in here um, there's actually a hole in the it's a hole in the top of the I need another hand here there's a hole in the top of the right there which you could do that or it's probably just as good to you know get a couple drops I boiled these to get started, but drop, 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 drop there. I don't know the lubrication interval on this, the service interval on this, because I've I've never run it long term. So I might count on you guys to tell me when it needs oil. I mean, these are all basically journal bushings, metal on metal. Except for the uh, piston sleeves, I'm using a 20 thousandths thick UHMW that's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene sleeve, which is a, an amazing plastic that doesn't wear. Uh, they're used a lot in guides, uh, similar to nylon, but it's practically indestructible. So the idea is these run dry. And hopefully after a while, it'll kind of polish the inside of your cylinders, make it even prettier. So those run dry. I would just wipe them or clean them. 
if you if you need to lubricate them, I, I, you don't really need to, but the silicon spray might be okay. Okay, getting into the, uh, the valve train. Probably the biggest reason for this long hypodermic is to get into the exhaust valve, the exhaust valve guide. And it's quite obviously six of those. I mean, two or three drops is generally what you need. For the upper, upper guide, I added these little notches here and the head. Um, and these are a little tricky, but we're basically getting it to go on the shaft and then run down the shaft into the valve guide there. Getting to the, uh, so the rockers are pretty easy. They gave us some holes here. Two or three drops about all of these hold. So 12 of those. The camshaft itself, I usually put a little line across here. Uh, the, the, uh, the clearance on the valves is on the order of about 10 thousandths. So I leave a little gap so that we let the oil stay in there and not always wipe it off with the rockers. The camshaft itself, there's actually excess here for the front bearing. This is the center bearing. And then a the rear bearing for the crankshaft uh, camshaft is here. Um, so getting into the front end. Um, this is the uh, idler chain sprocket shaft. Um, these hydraulic tensioners, I took the hydraulics out, so it's just spring-loaded. Those don't get very much travel anyway. Um, I mean, the chain, you could probably use a rag in WD-40. The chain's pre-lubricated at the factory, but just, you know, want to keep enough on there. Same with these. This is gear runs the intermediate shaft. Uh, the belt runs dry. Um, I think that's about it for lubrication. For those that have this, this is this limited slip clutch. And this nut controls the amount of slip. I mean, I try to make this safe because, you know, I got my thumb in here once and it was not good. I smashed my thumb, but, you know, it didn't lose a nail, but it could have been bad. So... You need to protect this from people's fingers and such. Um, so I put this, I have three safety devices. I have a, a circuit breaker. One circuit breaker is for the motor torque, which is at two amps. Another circuit breaker, which kind of protects the motor. The other circuit breaker is three amps, which protects the driver. Um, and this is supposed to protect, you know, users, but don't. I wouldn't rely on it. You, you, tighten, you, you tighten this, ideally this nut would be such that, you know, it normally operates fine, but if you grab this pulley, it'll slip. Um, it's kind of on the edge, but ideally that's the safest situation is have that be something that can slip. Um, other than that, uh, here's the oil I'm using, but you know, any motor oil would work. Uh, if you get, you know, these bearings tend to hold oil, and if they have too much, they'll drip. So if you get a drip, um, you know, like down in here, just just dab it, dab it off with a rag. The nice thing is that this base is an oil, oil base. I use, um, I use Watco. You wipe it on, let it set for like 15 minutes and wipe off the excess. You want to get the oil to kind of soak in, not be on the surface. And the more you do that, the more beautiful this will look. But if we leak oil, then that's not a problem because we have an oil finish. Okay, well, thanks for your time. And hope you enjoy your... Your new creation and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.